Hey artists, we're gonna make these awesome community pictures showing all the different buildings and houses and parks in our own communities. Follow along with me and I'll show you how to make your own. Okay, for us to get started, we can decide what color we want for the background of our picture of our community. So you could do yellow for more of like a sunshiny look or you could do blue to kind of show the sky. We could also do green. So uh, we have some different options. I think I'm gonna go for the yellow. And then my next step is to create some little roads. And in between the roads will be little chunks of land where I can put my house, I can put Emerson Elementary, I can put any of our community landmarks and buildings on the page. So I have some different size pieces of black paper making strips and so I might make like the main road maybe here and then I could put let's see another road back here some roads are wider and some roads are smaller so we might use bigger and smaller pieces of paper I like to lay them down and kind of think where I want to put them maybe I'll have like this and maybe another street over here maybe i can cut this one so it fits there i think that works for me so i have like a big road here another road here but i've left enough space that i can put some little buildings i can put a park and some grass and things like that in my picture so i'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to put some glue just around the edge of the black pieces of paper and I'm going to glue down my streets just around the edge I don't have to cover it all right I've got my roads here I'm going to start adding some buildings. And so we can take littler pieces of cardstock and start adding the buildings. We can make them as big or small as we want and then we'll kind of glue them into place. So I think first I'm gonna draw my house. And so I'm just kind of thinking of the shape of my house and there's like, the front door and there's a big glass here and then I have a little porch with some little steps and then there's a second floor and there's let's see got some windows up here And then I also have a third floor up here and the chimney. Let's see, and there's like a couple windows up here. And maybe I'll add some texture to my roof. And we will color all of this in with our colored pencils and different tools. So I'd say the, the best way to get started for a picture of where we live in our community is definitely drawing our own house the best we can. It's not going to be perfect. Let's see, I'll add some texture to the roof here. right and I can go ahead and cut my house out and I'm just gonna set it on I'm not gonna glue it on yet because I'm just gonna see how everything else fits on my map or my picture and then we'll go from there so here is my house okay 
So I'll just set that right there for now. And we can add color to that in a little bit. Something else I would like to put in the community is our school, Emerson. So I might whoop, grab my marker and start drawing a picture of the school. So our school is pretty like long. It's got a lot of space, but we, let's see, we do have an upstairs, but it's not a super tall building. So I might show, let's see, we'll have this be like where the office is and the doors and it says Emerson. And then I'm thinking about all of the windows and all of our classrooms that go all the way across the school. All right, and then maybe I'll add some texture to the roof. And then I'm going to cut out the school and add it to our picture. We'll put the school over here. And then our school is right by the park, so I can work on the park here in a moment. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, we have a fire station by our school. So I might go ahead and draw that fire station. I'm thinking of other things like the grocery store that we shop at, other things that are important, parks we play at, uh, restaurants that we love in our community. We can put those in. We might not get every building in, but when we're doing art like this, we can kind of choose what our favorite places are, the places that stand out to us that we want in our picture. So I'm thinking, let's see. Here's gonna be our little firehouse. I know they have a big old garage to get the fire truck out. And then here are the doors. station and I'll go ahead and add that one and so as we are working on these we're just going to be thinking what are the significant places that mean something to us that we would want to put in a picture where we are making art about our own community so our house our school places we shop places we eat any of your favorite places that are close by, let's create those and set them down on our map until we have enough stuff on here and we can move on to the next step. All right, I think I have all the buildings I need for my picture. So I made the school and the little mobile back here where art and music are, ta-da. Here's the gazebo at the park and the little memorial and the flag. Something that makes our community special is that not only do we have this really cool old Carnegie Library here by the school that we use, we have the South Branch Library right around the corner. So I put that in here. Here's the little taqueria I like to get my tacos from. Here's the church around the corner. Here's Mickey's Army Surplus that I always think is pretty neat. And there's a park right over there too. We have so many parks in our community. I'm just kind of putting my little house over here to the side. Here's the fire station. And now that I've got as many buildings as I want, I'm just gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna secure all the buildings down so they don't go anywhere. So I'm just gonna flip them over. 
make sure I'm getting enough glue around that edge to really hold it. And then I'm gluing them down so then we can add some color. All right, we've got everything glued down. I've got some tiny paint brushes ready to add some details to this. But before we do that, let's take a yellow colored pencil stick and let's add those lines to our road. And this just makes our roads look a little more fun and a little more realistic. I might make this, I can take the white here and make that white line that goes straight down. We can make this a double lane where we have people driving on both sides. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna finish adding those yellow lines and then we can add the paint. All right, our streets are ready and we can add some color. <clears throat> to add color to these, we could use colored pencils or crayons, but I thought paint would be fun. We are going to use our temper cakes. We've got a regular set and we have a metallic set, which just makes it a little more fun. And so I'm just going to add some water with my brush to kind of wake these paints up. And I'm using a pretty tiny brush because we did some pretty tiny details here. And so I can just go through and start adding color. I know that the library is this kind of golden tan building. So I'm just going to add that color over here and kind of spice up this little square. And I'm thinking that's how I'm going to attack painting this is going little area by little area as I get these completed. So I'm just adding some of this color here. And because we use a permanent marker, I don't have to worry about any of this black moving around on us. I'm going to rinse that out and get some of this red. I'm going to add that to the roof. And so you will just be going through and adding color as you like to your buildings. I might get some of this darker copper color to put around here. And so I'm just going through with my little brush, adding color in on the buildings. And then I'll also be adding some color in around the buildings to add in the trees, maybe some of the little sidewalks and things like that. That will be up to you how you wanna go about doing that. If I don't put too much, if I just put a little water in the black, I can get a nice gray color here. Make a little shadow here. And then I might put a little bit of blue on those windows. And I love how my building is coming along. Add some color to our door here. That's looking great. Now, I can go ahead and paint right onto that background color. I might wanna get out my bigger brush. 
I can go ahead and add some of the trees over by the library. Maybe some of the trees that are growing behind the building. Maybe a little bush down here. I'm just doing some squiggly marks with my brush to make the, the branches with our leaves up here on our tree. And now that little square of my map is really starting to look awesome. I've colored the building and I've added some details. I might get some of this lighter green and add some grass. And then I can move on to my next section and I will add color over there as well. So this is kind of fun. We're just going along and it's almost like we're illustrating the scene of our community. I've went and I added some color here, added some background. Now I think I'm gonna focus on this section and paint in the church and the little restaurant and add some things there. All right, I started adding colors to some different areas of the map. So you can see I colored in our little church, the little restaurant, the army store, and I'm starting to work on where the gazebo and the park are. So you're just gonna go through one little step at a time in each section and start using your paint to add color. So our park has a lot of grass, so I can paint the grass in here and I can add some trees. And then I can move on and work on adding color to the rest of my map. So we're just going to go little block by little block and add in some color. So I'm just adding where the grass is so I can color in. And then I can go back with my smaller brush and add some details. I might go back and add some little patches of the grass detail with my little brush. I'm just kind of giving that whole feeling of the park that's by our school. So you're going to be thinking about all the things that make your community special that you can put on your community map art. And we're just going to keep adding color and bringing it to life. It's like a little snapshot of our community and where we live. So I'm just gonna keep adding that color in. All right, I went ahead and finished adding paint to every different section of my community picture. The paint is now dry too, so if I have a little extra time, and if you wanted to just go back and add some details with colored pencil, you could always add just a little texture with your colored pencil, like I can add some texture on the tree, just to add some of those little details, if you want, if you have time. So I could go put like the roof texture on the gazebo, Things like that, that the color pencil can just add a little more texture and dimension. And then we are just about finished with these. I could add some little grass texture here. I could add some leaf texture on my trees. So the color pencil can come in handy for stuff like that. Just those finer details. And then when you're ready, and you feel like you've got all your details completed, then your picture is finished. And I can't wait to see how you draw and illustrate your community.